We're working in a flooded garden that's turned into a swamp. We need to come up with a drainage solution, but first need to understand the ground conditions. The best way to do this are boreholes. A borehole is a narrow shaft vertically or horizontally drilled into the ground. They're used for extracting oil, gas, or water, or geotechnical investigations like we're doing here today. Due to access limitations, we had to ensure a moderately sized rig was used for these boreholes. This is a mini rig. It's powered by a diesel engine driving a hydraulic pump. The support legs called balance feet are installed to ensure the machine can remain upright and at the correct angle for drilling perfectly straight down. The rig is capable of two types of drilling, a hammer down and spinning auger. The drill bits called flights come in one meter and two meter lengths, are 125 mil wide and are locked in with a U-pin. The process is to drill down one meter, then bring the drill back up. At that point, attach another flight and go down another meter. Once you get to four meters, you only need to bring one meter out of the ground, leaving in three meters. Then attach another flight between what was previously flights number one and two. You can then push on and keep drilling. At each level, when coming back up to ground, we take what is called a disturbed sample and send it to the laboratory for testing. Ball hole number one. We have clay until we hit 1.7 meters and then we have sand. Ball hole number two. We have clay until 2.8 meters and then we have sand. Ball hole number three. We have clay again to 2.8 meters and then we have sand. Head to the Asheville YouTube channel to watch the full video now.